Target is a scam. Olive green, <laughs> olive green, olive green. Funny story is I got fired. Where is the rest of the organic ones? Over here. Oh. I'll be on it always, always. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back Majorettes. If you're new here, my name is Major J and I do plus size beauty, lifestyle, and fashion content. If you're interested in subscribing, please make sure you hit that button. Okay guys, so we're starting off with some packages. Today is, what's today? Today is Tuesday. Wait, wait, hold on. Rewind, 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 rewind. So first of all, I told you guys in the last vlog that I was gonna be putting in my notice in and it's official tissue i have put in my notice at work so i've never on this channel told anybody where i work at um but i feel like if you pay attention you could probably figure it out considering this will be my last week and by the time this vlog goes out i will be done can you guys guess where i work target <laughs> So it may not come as a surprise to anybody on this channel because I do a lot of Target hauls. I'm always in Target, but that's because I'm always in Target. So yeah, I was an assistant store manager for Target and now I am not. I worked there for about nine years. I started as a visual merchandiser and worked my way up. So yeah, I've been in retail for a minute. I've been in Target for a minute, okay? That chapter is behind me now and I'm on to a different experience, a different world and I'm really excited about that of course I'm gonna miss my target folks I'm gonna miss target in general because come on but let's be real y'all know I'm still finna be in that store please speaking of that we have a stack literally a stack of packages to open so the first item up I already read the box and it is from sacred this is beyonce's brand it says welcome to your sacred space our products honor the love and connection of hair traditions while delivering what your hair craves we don't dress hair with cosmetic sheen we fortify your hair with rich conditioners transformative proteins fermentation and patent pending technology to create some serial sensorial okay luxury and exceptional performance that makes your hair look as healthy as it is strong you deserve to show up as you choose and express your hair in all ways that make you feel powerful you are sacred okay sacred what a word so i didn't buy the full line of sacred i literally just bought whole new hair care from pattern but I was still looking for a scalp oil and then fell upon this. So Melissa Wardrobe on Instagram had tried the products out for like a month or two and she absolutely loved it. So I was like, if Melissa says it's good, then we're good to go. I will warn you guys though, the sacred return policy is kind of ridiculous, but I don't know. I guess you can do the travel sizes if you really want to try it out um, because you can't return. Like what's done is done, all sales are final. So I only ordered two things, cute packaging. So this is the reconstructing treatment mask. Ooh, not the texture I was expecting at all. Mm, it doesn't really have like a smell per se. It kind of just smells slightly like shea butter, but it's not very strong at all. Um, but I bought this because I needed a new protein conditioner. I used to use the Myel one and obviously I'm not using Myel anymore. So I wanted to try this one out. I'll link everything in my description box because I'm not 100% sure how much it was. I know it was pricey though. I know it was pricey. So that's that. And then this is what I really wanted from them, which was the restoring hair and edge drops. You guys know over the summer I got my hair braided and baby, my edges are still recovering, child. Still recovering. So this is what it looks like. So I feel like this one was like $50, if not 60. And it comes with 1.7 ounces. Baby, that's tiny. It's kind of like a light pink color. It smells good. But we're gonna try this. It's supposed to help repair. It literally says restoring hair in edge drops. So I better see some. Obviously, I'll try this out for at least a month and I'll do like before and after pictures just so we can see what it's really looking like. And then with your purchase, you get a sample of something else. So I picked a sample of the clarifying shampoo and scalp scrub. So we have probably enough in here to do one wash. So that's the items I got from Sacred. Next up, we have Target. So this week is Target Circle. By the time you guys see this video, it'll probably be over. But if you don't know what Target Circle is, basically every day there's a special deal of the day. Um, so I ordered some stuff for my new job because y'all know I'm gonna need some outfits. 
so I needed some like kind of work pants so these I picked up um, I think I showed you guys these before and I told you I wanted to order them in a bigger size because the one that I got was a little too small so we have these black pants with like the tuxedo stripe um, from the future collective and this is in a size 2x uh, we'll probably try it on later just to make sure it fits and then these I thought were really cute they're also from the future collective and they kind of have that like double waistband that's been really popular and as you guys know I'm on a weight loss journey so I really don't want to OD with buying new clothes because I know I'm gonna have to replace them pretty soon but I kind of you know it's my new job I want to make sure I look cute and professional so yeah these are actually pretty good quality the thing I like about my new job is like I can still wear sneakers and be cute so this with a pair of with my Sambas will definitely be a cute little vibe so that's that I did repurchase the pattern items now let me tell you why though because when I bought them I just bought them in regular price but the promo for circle with Ulta target items is that if you spend $60 you get a $15 gift card so best believe I repurchased them again because I'm finna return these yep still on there I'm gonna return them with the old receipt so that I get that $15 gift card period so these will be going back tomorrow that's box one also from Target. I ordered them at the same time, but I guess they ship separately. Oh, more clothes. What is this? Oh, these are the pleather pants. Okay, this is actually a really cute color. So another work pant that I need. So these are also from the Future Collective. They're like a full leather trouser. So the color, it, I don't know if you can see you can kind of tell on screen it's kind of like an ashy brown and on the tag it says it's dark gray so these are dark gray we'll try these on later and see how they go them. so i wanted to make sure i had some options also picked up this button down i wanted this when i first saw the drop but that was part of the order that they canceled for me this is really cute it's just a plain white shirt but it has like telling on it and then the way the website has it is you kind of button it asymmetrically and that's really cute so we'll try those on later and then one more pattern item that i need to return why would they give it to me with tape better be sealed my amazon package what did i order from amazon oh i know you be ordering shit you be forgetting you be forgetting child what you order oh wow this is a big pack so i re-upped on my face wipes so the ones that i use originally for some reason the price damn sure changed on them because they're usually i think i usually pay like 20 dollars for a pack of two and they changed them and now it was 35 dollars. so then i just switched to a different company now these were 30 dollars for a pack of six babe please yeah that's a bargain i'll link these in my amazon storefront and then the other item i got from amazon the palmer shimmer radiance body oil i really 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 wanted to see how this worked it's like their regular oil which i use normally but this one has a shimmer to it so let me see is it open it looks very shimmery mm, but a lot okay so it's definitely oil because i was afraid it was not oh that's shimmer babes I don't know if you let me stand up so y'all can see. Do y'all see? I, guess, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but it's definitely glowing. And in the sunlight, that probably looks really, really nice. So this was really good. Um, they don't carry this at Target. That's why I got it from Amazon. But I think Walmart also has it. But I'll tag it in my storefront so you guys can see that. So that's basically all my packages. When I tell you everything got delivered on the same day, we love that for me because that's one trip. One trip to the leasing office, praise him. Okay, so basically I'm just gonna edit for a little bit. I have to obviously eat dinner and then I have editing to do for the vlog that you guys will have seen already. We're just gonna vibe out and I'll probably pick you guys up when I got something going on. Alright hey guys, so I'm done with work for the day. I'm just gonna run because like I told y'all, it's Target Circle Week. So I wanna get some sheets because my white sheets need some refreshing and they're 30% off right now. And that's pretty much all I need because I've been spending a lot of money and it's over for me. 
it's over what i will say though guys you know what i learned today i'm good i'm about to put them on game guys about the gift cards i said no why not you you guys need to know target is a scam <laughs> Those gift cards that we think we're saving money for, we're not saving any money. We're spending the same amount of money, whether we get that gift card or not. The whole point of the gift card is to bring us back in the store. I'm gonna explain it more later. Oh my God, these are so cute. Do you guys see these little mugs? This is so cute. How much is it? $5. It's not bad, I don't really tea like that. This one's cute. This is cute. Are these straw covers? So this is the one I usually get. Their Percal organic one. I need it in a queen though. That's just regular performance. What the hell? Am I in the right section? How much are they? Fifty dollars. Ooh, where is the rest of the organic ones? Oh, twin XL. If maybe something was zoned, I would be able to f look at. Oh, child, don't get that on camera. <laughs> Do not get that on channel, please. Oh, the price is pricing on this side. Hold on. These are 75. Those are 50. Mm, that changes things. Queen. Bam. Let me check the price on this one. Although I know it's 65. Would y'all pay $65 for this? I always tell my subscribers, if you want to check the price, use your Target app. 65. Ew. So it would be $45. And then I have my $15 gift card. Quote unquote. Yeah, I'll do my thing. So I just found these. I like them. I mean, everything in my bathroom is great anyway. Do I need a towel? No. But like, this is cute for me because it's just me. Should I get two? There's another one up there. These I think are 14 and the smaller ones are 19. Or, I mean, nine. Well, now, now I need the whole thing. I don't know, cause it's definitely like an impulse purchase. Like I really do not need this damn towel. I have plenty of towels, but this is just so cute. And my bathroom's like gray. You can't go wrong with See, I can't have people. I literally have towels that still have this thing on it. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> I thought you were just saying you had a whole bunch Cause I used to work at a Target that was closing down. And so all these went down to like two, $3. Girl, I've racked up. I even have firm furniture from that Target that's in my mom's house just collecting the, the still in the boxes and everything. Cause I was like, I was like, let me buy it. It's on sale. Never used it. All right, see, I don't need nothing. Goodbye. So I ended up paying only $17 for it. Look at that, saving money, but Okay, what? I'm always trying to get in the car to explain the gift card to you because honestly, in my nine years of working here, I'm shocked and appalled that I never like put two and two together to realize what was really going on. But I'm gonna tell y'all right now so y'all know. But yeah, let me carry this stuff out. Gotta go. All right, guys, back in the house. So what I was saying about the Target promotions when it comes to the gift cards. So you guys know how when you go in there, it'll be like spin. $50 on household essentials, get a $15 gift card. So I always knew that they took a little bit of money off of each item, but I didn't quite think about it too hard. Because if you think about it, essentially they're basically telling, taking the money that you were gonna spend anyway and putting it on a gift card, which now forces you to come back in the store. You get what I'm saying? So you're not really saving any money here, it depends on how you look at it because yes on the receipt it will look like you're paying less for the item but now the whatever you just saved the $15 that you save is now being put on a gift card it's not like it's going back in your wallet to me a savings would be like the money is coming into my wallet but you're just giving it to me to spend again in the store so like yeah I can it, to me personally I feel like that's a little a little misleading 
I feel like they should probably change it. But I guess any type of gift card promotion is kind of the same theory because at the end of the day, you could just not spend that money to hit that threshold and just keep your money. So yeah, it depends on how you look at it guys. I don't know, but I felt I felt like I was very much enlightened today by figuring that out because I was like, hold up, wait a minute. Why am I being charged and the extra $15 this is not making sense. And it's like, because they gave me $15, that's so stupid. And the only reason why I noticed it is because online, in order for them to give you that $15 gift card, they have to charge you for it. Whereas in the store, everything's all in one transaction. So like, you don't even notice it. But the way I see it is like when I went to go return the items. So the subtotal of those items were like $70. But now that I go return them, I'm actually only getting like 50 something dollars back because it's taking off the $15. So yeah, it is what it is. But anyway, it's Wednesday, I'm home. I, today's shot day. So usually on shot day, I make sure I get all my water intake before nine because that's the time I take my shot. So I'm already on two Starbucks cups of water. So I need one more just to be safe. So I have three hours, uh, an hour, and two hours and 15 minutes to get one more bottle of water in me, which I think I could do. And usually the last bottle, I'll put electrolytes in it just to extra boost it. I haven't had any symptoms for the past like three shots. So any serious symptoms I should say. So I think I should be fine. And I always make sure I eat by six o'clock. That way when I go to lay down around like 10 or 11, my food is digested and I'm not like going to bed with heaviness on my stomach. I also try to aim for my lighter, my heavier meal to take place during the day. So that gives me time to kind of like run around and burn that down instead of like doing my heaviest meal at the end of the night and being stuck with it at the end of the night. So I just had a little bit of soup and that's my dinner. I need to clean up my living room a little bit because maintenance is gonna be here in the morning to replace some blinds for me. And yeah, I'm not finna show y'all me cleaning cause one, it's a hot ass mess. And two, nah, it would just be too much. Let me just get this done so that I can relax and chill. So I will definitely pick you guys up tomorrow cause you know, it's Thursday and I'm off on Thursday. Gonna hang around the house. I have my Shein haul that I need to film as well as some short form content. So I'll probably just be in the house working all day. I also need to finish editing the vlog so it can go up to you guys by Thursday night. So yeah, I'm gonna clean up and then start editing. That's what we're gonna do. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so it is saturday and i'm getting ready to film my shein haul that i said i was gonna do i don't know i think i want to just attach it to this video instead of doing like a separate video for it let's see how that does um i basically just moisturized my face with tasha the water cream this is one of my favorite moisturizers i do think i am going to be switching it for winter though because i want something a little bit heavier so i just got off work a little bit ago and it's funny because something to happened at work today that made me think like damn i truly have grown as a as an individual i would say long story short because like obviously you guys know where i work at now i had a team member today at starbucks get really upset because i guess she had an interaction with the customer and the customer basically you know lost their shit on her and unfortunately when you work in retail when you work in customer service even though people be nasty as hell to you, you kind of have to keep your cool. And that's something that I learned over time because I've been in retail since I was 16 years old. So the reason why it made me think about it is because I actually worked at Starbucks too when I was younger. I was a shift manager there and funny story is I got fired <laughs> because of a similar situation where I lost my cool about something all right i don't know my camera cut up but yeah what i was saying was needless to say over the years i have definitely learned how to keep my cool in situations like that because at the end of the day it's literally going to cost you your job and it kind of sucks because no matter how much like the guest was in the wrong or whatever it's all about how you handle the situation and what i've always learned is that you just gotta walk away child you just gotta walk away because these people will literally bring it out of you now i don't really i still don't know exactly all that happened because now it's a point of he said she says so who knows but i will say that 
the person who got really, really upset definitely made the situ situation worse. It just makes me think of like how far I've come because baby, I ain't gonna hold you. I was definitely, definitely that, that rowdy girl. I don't know what it is. I definitely, you know, when you work in retail, you really have to start thinking to yourself, this literally has nothing to do with me. This guest is losing their mind. And honestly, more times than not, it literally has nothing to do with us. They just happen to be having a bad day and they wanna pick on somebody that they know literally can't fight back. Because if they do fight back, they're gonna be the ones who get in trouble. And I feel like that's why these people feel like it's okay to do that because the first thing that always comes to my mind is I bet you won't catch me outside though <laughs> I bet you won't have that same smoke if I saw you on the street and of course they they definitely would not so you really have to just learn to take everything with a grain of salt and I don't take it personal at the end of the day because I know people are literally losing their mind out there <laughs> that's literally what it comes down to People are going crazy. Mental health is really real and we need, I don't know, maybe we need free health care. Maybe we need something that's going to get us a therapist for free child. Because I ain't going to lie, I definitely could use some therapy myself. And hopefully with this new insurance, I could go ahead and do so. Um, but like I said, I'm getting ready to film a Shein haul. I just wanted to just share that thought with you guys because I don't know it was on my head and oof, I have this U part or I think this is a V part wig on because I didn't feel like doing my hair today so like my hair is out on the top and that's pretty much it I think I got it from where did I get it from what's that brand Icy Hair yeah I think I had it from Icy Hair um she's okay she gets tangled but not like anything crazy you could just put water in it and it'll it'll come out perfectly fine why didn't i do my eyebrows first i'm over here chatting with you guys I completely forgot my brows chat Ugh, i don't like that you guys let me know have you guys ever had first of all have you ever worked in retail and if so do you know what i'm talking about because i'm telling you the customers will push you to the edge baby push you to the edge as far as the Starbucks story, like, mind you guys, like I said, I was a kid when this happened. I literally was, I had to be like seven, no, because I was in college at the time. So I want to say I was like 19 maybe at most. Um, and basically what happened was there was a kid that worked at Starbucks with me who I actually went to high school with. So we already had a prior relationship. So it wasn't really anything crazy. I just, I think I had asked him to do something and he refused to do it or like caught an attitude with me. So I like got loud on him. So I guess that was my fault because obviously I'm his manager so I should chill. But at the same time, like this is somebody that I knew outside of work. So it wasn't nothing serious. And even he didn't take it as something serious. But what ended up happening is somebody because the the starbucks that i worked at was in the center of the mall so somebody heard us going back and forth in the mall and reported it to my manager so you know people just want to be nosy because at the end of the day the situation literally has nothing to do with you and here you are here you are not minding your business mind you me and him had been squashed it so it was just like even when my manager pulled me to talk about it i was just like i completely have forgot about the situation so yeah that's the first and only time i've ever been fired from a job and it was definitely a, a learning lesson for me taught me how to control my anger because it's something my mom used to tell me when I was younger. And I, I really didn't think much of it, but I realize now as I got older, I kind of do have a short fuse when it comes to certain things. I don't really know what it is, but sometimes I will just get extremely mad about something and to the point where like, I'll black out. Like don't even, you can't even speak to me. You can't even speak to me when I get like that because like, I don't even hear you bro. I don't even hear you. I remember one time, this is like, damn, I'm telling on myself, but whatever. One time I had an ex, you know, 
this is like high school love so you just being really goofy at this time and I remember calling my friend Brie on the phone like so and so is at this girl's house talk me out of it tell me not to go over there tell me to take my butt home and she's like girl you got too much to lose don't do it don't do it blah 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 you know what I did I went over there <laughs> it was crazy as how like I actually called someone to talk me off the ledge and I still ended up taking my ass over there and starting some shit oh yes those were my adolescent days it's been years since I have gone off the deep end I feel like I have really had to have a serious conversation with myself and you know at a certain age it's just not cute anymore not that it was ever cute but it literally is just not cute anymore and I think also as I get older and realize I have a lot more to lose because before you know I was still in school I had no degrees yet I had not I didn't have a real job so it's like you didn't have anything to lose really if I got fired at age 17 or 18 however old I was would it be the end of the world no because I'm a kid that didn't stop me from becoming the person I am I guess but yeah it definitely was a learning experience and then as I watched this girl today just kind of literally lose her shit man like I'm talking about I was like are we on the streets like the way she was going off <laughs> I don't know it's like she was having a psychiatric episode but yeah so I don't know sure but anyway I'm gonna do this makeup real quick um I'm probably gonna put the Shein haul in this video but I still want to do my makeup so that I can do like a thumbnail so we're just gonna do that plus I need to film some like reels and other things so we're gonna do that so yeah, you guys can just watch me while I do my makeup. We'll do a little montage, a little montage. I'm going to put music on though. I'm not going to put on a show because if I put on a show, I'm going to be here all day. And I'm not trying to be here all day. So let's just put some music on. Hey Google, play music. And I cannot trust you. Oh, oh na na na. So you want me to the big spine. Oh, ah. Alright guys, this is the finished look. I gotta go look in a real mirror so I can see how it looks, but I think I like it. So, pretty much I did it exactly the same that I usually do, but as you guys can see, I realize I feel like what I've been missing is I haven't been setting my foundation. I set my concealer, but I don't set my foundation. Because you really should be putting a... You really should be putting a powder on top of your foundation as well so i went ahead and set my foundation this time with my bobby brown with my bobby brown setting powder this is in the color soft honey i feel like it was very close to my my um whatever foundation color uh i didn't put a lot though just enough to like just like lightly coat it and then even on my under eyes normally i use the pressing thing honestly i didn't use it because i didn't feel like getting up to go get it <laughs> so i just used a brush instead but i don't mind it sometimes i go back through with the the pink setting powder in the one size but this time i just left it with the sweet honey so this sweet honey versus this soft honey this one is a lot more on the yellow side like almost i think they have one called marigold but to me this one is very 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 light and like yellowy whereas the bobby brown one is a lot more neutral tone I personally like both of them i had bought the mini one size ones because i wanted to try them but to be honest with you i think i'm gonna go back to my bobby brown the one size is cool but i feel like because the color is slightly on the yellow side i prefer this one because it 
it gives me the brightening without me looking like a Oompa Loompa. And the pink one, I feel like it's completely too light for me. I don't know. I mean, I saw the white, the black girls using it. And I thought it was gonna do it. The pink is okay when I put it on top of the gold. I definitely wouldn't wear it by itself. So not anymore anyway. Maybe I'll try it again. Maybe I was doing it wrong, but I think I tried it a couple of times and it just wasn't working out for me. But anyway, so we're about to try on some sheen things. And yeah, let me let me go over to the other side of the living room so y'all can see the fits, okay? I actually got some really cute things, so let's go try them on. All right, guys, so we're gonna try on some of the Shein pieces. So right now I have on a set that I got from this haul. I wanted some comfy things to kind of get on camera with because I've been looking a little crazy on this camera. So I got this cute little set. It's kind of skims-ish because it looks like skims but i'm going to tell you guys right now fabric wise it's not giving skims honey <laughs> i hate to break it to you it is pretty comfy though one thing i did notice though is the shorts do kind of roll up so be prepared for that i would have liked them a little bit longer and they kind of like hike up especially in the back but i do think this is cute especially just to lounge around the house with definitely would not wear this outside though so that's just me you do what you want though you do you boo you do you i'm shooting a real in thumbnails in this corner and i'm filming with you guys right here so we got a lot going on but anyway back to what i got on right now so i didn't look at the size before i put it on well no the pants are in a size 4x and the top is in a three definitely could have went a little small on the top but honestly i kind of like the baggy look lately olive green has kind of been my color okay hold on let me let me just show you guys because just so you don't think i'm lying over here olive green <laughs> olive green olive green i don't know like this is definitely my color for the fall and it looks real good on me if i do say so myself but anyway i really really like these i've been looking for a pair of leopard jeans are these leopard or cheetah i don't know but you know what i meant i've seen a lot of people wear jeans similar to these with like red i think that would be really cute oh with my red target bag hold on hold on now oh and a red hat oh and then the shut up bruh i just made a fit and i didn't even try hard like this is so cute nah now i need to execute it because now i need a red hat now i need the shoes to go with it like this is so cute yeah we like this but what i will say is that i was actually surprised these jeans fit me if you have been following my channel for a little bit you'll know that i usually struggle when it comes to the jeans for shein but you know your girl has been losing a little bit of weight and the four x is fitting babe we love that for me now it is a little bit baggy in the crotch but i don't mind because i probably would wear it just like this with an oversized shirt so yeah this is really cute all right so i'm pretty sure this is kind of the only bottoms that i got i don't know i didn't really see anything that i love but these i actually love i forgot to mention that the back of them have this like scrunchy waistband which is good because you, you guys already know when you have a little dump truck in the back you're usually left with a gap so this definitely eliminates that completely so the next thing i have on is this bodysuit it actually comes in a three pack i'm only going to try on one though but it came in black cream and kind of like this taupey color i love these because they're nice they're soft easy to go with everything they have a little bit of ruching on the side honestly i don't think you could really oh well, i guess you can see it a little bit it's nothing major but i like them cheap something to throw on like i could even wear it with this even it looks nice and all the colors kind of just blend together and these are colors that you're probably going to wear all the time anyway so these are in a size 4x all three of them so what i didn't mention but i'm sure you guys know by now all these items are going to be linked in my description box if the sizes are different from what i mentioned i'll also put that in the description box as well also i usually put everything that i talk about in the video in my description box so just make sure you guys check that out i also have an amazon storefront a target storefront now the target storefront is a little bit different from the amazon storefront because i don't know amazon is one of those places where they kind of always have the item in stock or it's going to come back in stock target it's more like if you don't get it right now you gonna be asked out so what i think i want to do or what i've started to do is i'll do my monthly favorites so right now i need to do like my oct october faves and then make make a kind of curated list of all my favorite things from target for october and then so on and so forth that way it's constantly refreshing you guys can check to see what it is because sometimes i do do a haul for target and sometimes i don't but that doesn't mean i'm not buying stuff so that's where you can go to kind of see what's new what's hot what's not 
<laughs> so we're just gonna try some of the outer layers while I have this on. So starting with this jacket, let's see. One thing I hate about Shein sometimes, they don't be putting the tags in there, like I need to know. So this is in a size 4X. It's this like floral Valero jacket. I just thought it would be kind of interesting. Let me tuck this in so you guys can see what where it would stop. So it's kind of like a three quarter sleeve balloon sleeve. So it kind of stops right after your elbow. I don't know about this one guys. It's not really doing it for me and it kind of looks cheap if you ask me. So yeah, nah, I don't like this one. It looked cute online though, I'm, I ain't gonna lie. It looked pretty cute online, but this one's a no for me dog. It's a no for me. So next outer piece we have this cardigan. This is in a size four X as well. I thought this was really cute on the girl that had it on and it's looks very warm and toasty yeah this is cute i like this mm -hmm. this is fun i probably wouldn't wear nude underneath it just because it kind of clashes with this cream i'd probably just do white play it safe but i do like this cardigan it's super thick guys super thick very warm this is the design it has in the back it's like d's i don't know what that means but you know and here i go again with the green guys i don't know what's going on with me I got the green money on my mind, child. Money on my mind. Oh yeah. I'm looking in the mirror and this is really cute. So yeah, the cardigan is definitely a yes. A yes, 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 yes. Now this top I really, really like a lot. It's just a plain black top with like these white lapels. I just like it cause it's cute and simple. I like the black and white trim and it's actually not a bad length i thought it was going to be crop top but it kind of sits where it's supposed to sit now just i don't know if i pointed this out to you the jeans do cut pretty high guys so right now it's you only got this much room between this is my titties child but yeah i like the top i think it's cute and simple something cute for work nothing not doing too much just doing enough you know what i mean and it dresses it up a little bit so if i just wore this with like some black slacks i think that would be cute all right so this one I am very unsure about not sure what's happening it looks like it's an apron but it's not quite covering like where it needs to cover because then it kind of rises in the back so yeah I don't think this one is quite right I was gonna keep it just for the white shirt because the white shirt actually fits pretty nicely all right so this top is cute definitely not a work top because it's cropped but it is cute so basically it comes with these long tassels that kind of wrap around and then it wraps with this string in the back but what i do like it is it still kind of has enough hang on it that i don't feel like my back is out but you can still see the tie in the back which is really cute and then you get a little bit of skin on the side but obviously you can kind of adjust that depending on one where your jeans go and two where the top well i didn't do this nicely but like you can drape this up a little bit nicer but this is cute and then you have like the sleeves that kind of have like a bell sleeve and you can tie these as well this is in a cream color like a beigey off white it did come in other colors but i think this top is cute it fits nicely i'm pretty sure i got it in a 4x because usually with woven items i usually go up just because they usually don't have any stretch so yeah i feel like this is nice this is comfortable it looks it looks chic you know it looks it doesn't look too cheap so i like this not for work but i like it they even look cute with these jeans to be honest with you so yeah this is a keeper so i don't know guys i feel like shein has switched up the sizes on me because this is a size 3x and i got some room okay i definitely could have went with a 2x even though i kind of like the oversized look but I don't know, sometimes I feel like when you do things a little too big, it makes you one, look bigger, and two, makes you look a little elderly, if you know what I mean. So I do like this sweater. I think I would like it better if it was smaller though. I do have it tucked in. So like this is it fully extended. Yeah, it's giving frumpy. So definitely size smaller. But if you like your sweaters loose, that's on you, boo. That's on you. All right, guys. So these, this next set is super, super cozy, super, super warm. It's like a sweater knit material. You kind of have like that sporty look with the stripes on it. Same thing on the bottom. The leg is like a flared leg. I do wish it was a touch bit longer, but I have a feeling it's one of those fabrics that's probably going to loosen up as the day goes on. I did get it in a size 3X because I figured it would be stretchy. And yeah, this is really cute. I just like it. It's just fun and it does have a zipper on the bottom to kind of like go the other way but i can't quite 
get it up so i don't know if it's just there for show but either way it ain't going up but this is really cute i like this this is like a cute like running around look when you just want to look cozy i'm just looking for a set okay if we got a set we're ready to go so let me see what i got left i got dresses left okay we got a couple dresses let me try those on so next up we have this cute little brown button-up dress now i do not have any shapewear on and i definitely would wear some shapewear i just don't feel like putting none on right now so yeah you kind of see everything but honestly this dress is gorgeous it's just like a ribbed material super stretchy this is in a size 3x this is in a size 3x so stretchy whenever you're buying stretchy you want to aim smaller for sheen so that it can fit nicely i didn't button it all the way so you get this nice little v-neck action going on got the tatas on display okay yeah i feel like the spanx would definitely take it to that next level yeah she's really cute i keep fluffing up this hair because for some reason i think i cut this side too short because now this side looks longer so now i look lopsided i don't know y'all but i like this skirt the only skirt this dress the only thing that i'm like eh, the bottom kind of flares out instead of just going straight down it's not a huge deal but just something to keep in mind it flares out at the bottom but i would definitely just throw on some boots with these these are really this is really cute so let's try on the last item so this is another cute maxi dress that you can definitely wear for the fall again no shapewear guys so yeah it definitely would look a lot smoother if i did throw on some shapewear i will say this one is a lot thinner than the brown one like you could literally see everything it's also a little bit more see-through as well i don't know if you guys can kind of see like my underwear underneath here because it's light color so definitely put on some shapewear um other than that it's really really pretty this nice burgundy color you got the collar lapel on going on and then the v-neck just makes it a classy cute simple dress not too expensive so we love that definitely would be cute with some boots and yeah you can't go wrong with a fitted dress to be honest with you that's pretty much it well the other things i got from Shein was like little small accessories we don't have to really go into that but i'm pretty much done you guys let me know how do you like this style instead of the other ones i kind of want to put my hauls inside of my vlogs just because i feel like i've been getting the wrong type of attention from certain people <laughs> so i feel like this is a way to kind of keep them out because i know they don't be watching vlogs aka the men right so yeah let me know what you guys think of the pieces of course everything's gonna be linked but right now i'm finna wash this makeup off and get ready for bed because i do have work tomorrow so i will see you guys in the bathroom i guess okay guys so of course i forgot to plug in my microphone so we're gonna have to do this old school with a little voice over so i'm taking off my makeup and i decided to try the elemis collagen um bomb removal so it is very similar to the rihanna fenty one that i have i do love the smell of this and this came part of the package that i was sent to by naturally sunny so we're just going to put it in honestly it feels exactly like the fenty one i just like the smell a lot better so it does what it's supposed to do which is remove my makeup Next up, we're going to go with my second cleanse with my Youth to the People cleanser. You guys already know that I love this cleanser and use this on the regular. I'm also going to top it off with the Youth to the People um, Night Mask. Well, it's the Youth to the People Super Berry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. I use this mask all the time and absolutely love it. And then we're going to top it off with my Laneige. Really didn't train, change up my routine here, just switched out the balm. I am going to be using a treatment on my pimple that just doesn't seem to want to go away. I don't know what's going on, but I'm using this sulfur spot treatment that I got from Derma E. So it's kind of cool because you see how it separates right there. You're not supposed to mix it. You're supposed to just take a Q-tip and just get the sulfur on the bottom of it and then apply it to the spot that you want it on. So it truly is a spot treatment. And I like it because it definitely dries out the pimple and I feel like lately the pimple patches have been leaving like a dark mark more than usual. So I think I'm going to go back to the sulfur spots instead. 
but anyway this is the end of my video i'm sorry that i didn't get to get the audio and trust me i was very very upset but if you are not subscribed please make sure you hit that subscribe button and as always thank you guys for watching and i will catch you on the next one deuces